Hello and welcome to yet another episode of EM Recap, the show where we discuss news that made waves across India's northeast. So without any further ado, let's take a look at some of the important stories from the region that you may have missed or would like to revisit. Once again, let's begin with Manipur. Scenes of people mourning the loss of their loved ones continued pouring in from Manipur. Last week saw the mass burial ceremony of 87 people who lost their lives due to the ongoing conflict in the state. Thousands of people from the Kuki Zo Mar communities gathered at Tuibong Peace Ground in Churachanpur on December 20 to pay their final respects to the deceased. Of the 87, 41 bodies were the people that were kept at various morgues in Imphal and were airlifted by Indian Air Force helicopters on December 14, while the other 46 bodies were already lying at Churachanpur District Hospital. The mass burial ceremony was organized by the Joint Philanthropic Organization. Family members of the victims were also among the thousands who attended the ceremony. Later, the victims were finally laid to rest at the Kuki Zo Martius Cemetery in Sekin. Members of the Central Village Defence Force were seen giving gun salutes as a sign of honour and respect to the victims as the bodies marched towards the mass burial site from peace ground. Among the 87 people was a month-old baby named Isaac, who reportedly died on May 11. Isaac was born on April 10 at Senbon village in Fiswal district. Only days after his birth, the parents of the baby, Rol Nithang and Rimrod Thozo, found out that he had difficulty in passing urine and stool and took him to a nearby hospital. There, the parents were told to take him to the civil hospital in Lamka. The baby was treated at Lamka till April 16, during which doctors discovered that there was an obstruction in his colon and the baby needed surgery. So he was referred to the Regional Institute of Medical Sciences in Imphal. The baby was supposed to undergo surgery on May 6, but fate had other plans. On the evening of May 5, security personnel came to the hospital and told all the Kukizo tribals that they were being evacuated to the second Manipur Rifles camp. At the camp, the baby's condition worsened, after which doctors suggested that the baby should be sent to a hospital. Security personnel then took the family to Mother Care Hospital on May 6 and returned to the camp along with the parents, leaving the baby behind. That was the last time Isaac's parents saw their son. On May 11, the parents received a phone call from the hospital informing them that the baby had died. Isaac was among the 41 people whose bodies were flown into Churachanpur on December 14 so that they could have a decent and honourable burial. Earlier, a mass burial programme of 23 people was held at Martyas Cemetery in Kangpopis Phaijang village on December 15. Moving on to Tripura, the Janajati Suraksha Manch, a tribal organisation backed by the RSS on December 21, announced that it has decided to postpone its rally by a day after receiving a special request from Tripura Chief Minister Dr. Manik Saha. The tribal body had earlier said that it would hold a rally on Christmas demanding the delisting of the converted tribals from the scheduled tribe list. The proposed rally by the JSM was condemned by all major opposition parties, with many terming it unconstitutional, proactive and having the potential of creating a Manipur-like crisis. A joint body of several Tripura NGOs called the Joint Action Committee of Civil Societies or the JACCSC also opposed the rally, stating that the cause of the rally was against the state's secular fabric. In a statement, the JACCS said that, uh, and I quote, the indigenous people of Tripura have been have believed in Hinduism, Christianity and animism for a long time but still live peacefully together without any clash among them on the religious ground. This is the first time in our state any organization has raised such sensitive religious demand and sought the delisting of converted indigenous people. This is nothing but one kind of serious propaganda to divide the indigenous people of Tripura on religious lines. JACCS also claimed that the converted Christians are not receiving dual benefits from the state government as falsely propagated by some groups. Now the rally will be organized on December 26. The JSM during a press conference also informed that over 30,000 people were prepared to join the rally. The past week also came bearing good news for UPSC aspirants of the Northeast. Delhi-based NGO Helping Hand in partnership with ALS IS Coaching Institute will be providing a scholarship worth 3 crore rupees to aspirants from the Northeast. The move came as a part of ALS's CSR initiative. Any aspirant from the region can access the form through Helping Hand's website, link to which is shared in the description. 
The forms have been made available to public since December 21 and the entries will be open till January 5, 2024. Any person who wants to avail the scholarship will have to sit for an examination which will be held on January 13. The exam will be conducted in New Delhi, Itanagar and Shillong. We spoke to Mr. Robin Hibu, the first IPS officer from Arunachal Pradesh and the president of Helping Hand, who explained how one can apply for the scholarship and how will it benefit the aspirants. You can watch the full interview through the link in the description. As the calendar inches closer to Christmas and the New Year, cities across Northeast are ablaze with festive lights and vibrant decorations turning them into a visual spectacle. The winding streets and iconic landmarks that are adorned with colourful lights and ornate decorations. Locals and tourists were seen flocking to popular markets for last-minute Christmas shopping. However, the scenes in Manipur are quite different. Taking the ethnic conflict into account, the All Manipur Christian Organization has called upon heads of denominational churches and Christians of the state to keep Christmas celebrations a very low-key affair this year. An apex body of all churches of the state, AMCO has appealed to the Christians to forego community feasts, Christmas lights and decorations and hanging star atop churches and houses. Quoting a verse from the Bible which says, Rejoice with those who rejoice, weep with those who weep. The organization urged the Christians to donate their expenses to the suffering of the people. That is all we have for this week's EM Recap. We will be back next week with another roundup. But before we leave, I want to request you to subscribe to East Mojo. All you have to do is visit our website through the link in the description, click on the subscribe button on the home screen and choose the plan of your choice. Remember, your support will help keep East Mojo the way we have always been, independent and unbiased. I'm Kalyan Dev and on behalf of the entire team of East Mojo, I wish you a Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching.